In the Indic tradition, periods of transition in nature are seen to hold immense possibilities for self-transformation. The three transition times within a day, called Sandhya Kalas, the transitions between the waxing and the waning phases of the moon, called Purnami and Amavasya, the transitions between sun's northern and southern run, called Uttarayanam and Dakshinayanam, and the transitions between the seasonal shifts on the planet. All of these have specific celebrations and corresponding practices that one can make use of. One of such celebrations are the Navaratris. When I say Navaratri celebrations, you probably think of the Durga Puja celebrations that happen during September. But did you know that there are actually four Navaratris that are celebrated throughout the year? All of them are celebrations of some form of seasonal transition that happens in nature and a process to make use of them for human well-being. In this video, let's explore the basis behind the celebration of these Navaratris with a particular emphasis on the Chaitra Navaratri celebrations that are coming up soon. We'll also look at the practices and processes corresponding to the Chaitra Navaratri festival and how you can make the best use of this traditional wisdom. The Sanskrit channel is an effort to explore a vast variety of topics from original Sanskrit literature. If you wish to support this effort, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution through these options. Your support will help us create more of these videos more frequently on more number of topics. Do check out all the links in the description below. This table lists out the four Navaratris and the transition times of the nature they represent. As we see, the first of them is Sharadiya Navaratri or Sharan Navaratri, which is a festival celebrated just after the monsoon season. Vasanta Navaratri or Chaitra Navaratri indicates the start of spring. Ashadha Navaratri is celebrated just after summer and Magha Navaratri is celebrated at the beginning of winter. Out of these four, the Sharada Navaratris and the Chaitra Navaratris are celebrated more prominently because they indicate a significant shift in the length of day and the length of night respectively. While Sharada Navaratris celebrate the September equinox, after which the length of the nights start to become longer than the length of the day, Chaitra Navaratris celebrate the March equinox, after which the length of the days start to become longer than the length of the nights. All these four Navaratris also fall on the first nine nights of the waxing phase of the moon called Shukla Pakshaha, starting from Pratipada or Prathama until Navami. These nine nights are split into three groups of three nights each, belonging to the qualities of Tamas, which can be thought of as inertia, Rajas, which can be thought of as compulsive passion, and Sattva, which can be thought of as vitality. The celebration of these nine nights are intended to slowly move a sadhaka from the mode of tamas to the mode of sattva. Chaitra Navaratri is also called as Lalitambika Navaratri, where goddess Lalita, the presiding deity of the auspicious Sri Yantra, is worshipped. The nine nights starting from Chaitra Prathama to Chaitra Navami are spent in various rituals corresponding to the nine perimeters or avaranas of the Sri Yantra. Various rituals like homas and parayanams are conducted to imbibe the grace of goddess Lalita and other corresponding deities of the Sri Yantra. You can follow the social media links to Devipuram to learn more about the processes conducted during this period. While the Sharada Navaratri celebrations culminate on Vijaya Dashami, Chaitra Navaratri culminates with the celebration of Sri Ramanavami. Hymns and chants corresponding to Lord Rama, like the Rama Raksha Stotram, Aditya Hridayam, and other verses from Valmiki Ramayanam are chanted during this time. Each of these festivals also have specific processes and rituals making use of the natural produce corresponding to that specific season. Chaitra Navaratri also indicates the start of the new year in many traditions across Bharat, where it is celebrated by the names of Yugadi or Ugadi, Gudi Padva, Chaitri Chandra or Cheti Chand, and so on. This period is celebrated as the onset of new year in tradition, as it brings about a significant shift in the surrounding temperatures and therefore the behavior of both microscopic and macroscopic life on the planet. During this period, people indulge in the practices of Panchanga Shravanam or predictive forecasts for the upcoming year, Aushadha Sevanam or the consumption of medicinal recipes that boost immunity, and Stotra Pathanam or the chanting of hymns that invoke vibrance and vitality within the body. I hope you make the best use of this period of natural transition in the atmosphere. May it bring about good health, vibrance and prosperity to all of us. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. Share it across with those whom you think might benefit from this. If you wish to support the production of more videos like these, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon 
or make a one-time contribution all through the links in the description below. Also, consider clicking on the subscribe button and the bell icon beside it so that you're immediately notified of our latest updates. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.